Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So I had a really good chance to play this yesterday and all evening and yeah I can confirm that it is absolutely incredible. But just let me run over a few things that I've noticed with playing it. I noticed that this edge, now with new handheld systems the first batch that they ever make are never perfect and you'll always have like a little bit of issues but this right hand side actually started to pop out and then led to a little bit of a light bleed it was just a simple case of getting my finger and popping it back into place but i just thought i'd let you know that's what i experienced but it's not deterred me from the system itself and it certainly is a wonderful device hopefully if they make a second batch i will relay over to pal kitty that that happened you know and they can rectify it I have to admit as well, guys, that even though it is one, a single mono speaker, the sound is beautiful from this thing. I don't know where, like what wattage the actual speaker is, but it really sounds punchy. I'm really, really liking it. The controls have just been an absolute joy. Analog sticks have just been amazing. The D-pad is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I've had no problems with the buttons. I added a few more games on here because obviously yesterday there was neither no BIOS uh, or there was no games in the folders itself. So I have literally added the bias. So I went ahead and just put in one game. One game I always test on Sega Saturn is Sega Rally and just to see how well it performs. Now on this chipset, it's never really run very well at all. And I can confirm that sadly this is the case. So I'll run through some Nintendo DS. I'll run through some Dreamcast, PSP. Just to show you the performance, and this is Emulec 4.1, by the way. So, obviously, I'll try and get through as many games I didn't show yesterday. So, this is more of a long play and performance video so far. I will run through some lower systems. There was a few people asking to see some games. But I will be also doing a video later on today testing Batasera 30. Okay, so as you can see, it's not really running at full speed, even though it looks absolutely lovely. If it could run at full speed, this would just be absolutely incredible. But compared to other systems, I think this is the best I've seen it running. Wouldn't it be great just to have it looking like that? It'd be incredible. So as you can see, it is running like a bag of shit, unfortunately. It, I can't wait to actually get, like, say, this 5-inch screen with a really, really good chipset or uh, a really good Android device and just so we could be able to play Sega Saturn games. It'd just be unbelievable. But it looks nice, um, but that's about it. Playability-wise, I'm not too sure. I will do another video testing Sega Saturn. Um, with other playable, sort of playable games. Um, 
but yeah we'll see i'll do another video on it but i just wanted to test it just for the purposes of this video but as you can see it's sega rally is a really tough one to emulate sadly it's a shame okay so let's jump into some nds okay let's start off with something light let's go with some new super mario brothers and the good thing about the five inch screen guys when you play in nintendo ds it just looks fantastic you can actually play games with dual screens um because of how big it is you know so i know a lot of people say oh i don't want a 16 by 9 5 by inch why would i want that well if you're a massive fan of nintendo ds this is actually quite important and not only that but like when you literally go into the options itself you can actually bloody read it so there's a few things that i like to do just to improve the experience of drastic uh, on this rock chip set i go into options i go down and i then change it's always set a default to like three so i always go down to one frame skip I put enhanced graphics on on certain games. This is one of them that you can do that. You don't have to. It doesn't really enhance it as much as what you'd think. But if I can get away with it, I will. In fact, I'll show you with it without it. And then I'll show you with it running. So let's back out of there. Yeah, so let's show you without it. Change options. And then what I always like to do as well in the video options, you'll see where it says fix MAME 2D screen. I always put that as yes as well. And as you can see, it just runs really, really well. So when you click in the right analog stick, it takes it to the main screen. And then when you click the left analog stick, it swaps between and it's really smooth and it's running the best that i've seen ds running on this chipset i don't know what magic they've done i don't know whether it's the 1.5 gigahertz and i've been used to the 1.3 on the odroid go super but as you can see it just looks incredible so let's go over you use the l1 to click in the right stick moves the stylus. But as you'll see guys, it, it actually is running like a dream, so smooth. And as I say, it is really a big part of the screen that's getting utilized as well. I was playing Kingdom Hearts on it last night. It was just such a joy i am absolutely loving this guys really am but you'll see now um with the performance it's just running so smooth <laughs> not as smooth as my gameplay though my bad it's playing through a bloody screen it's so so much lag Slowly, slowly. Yeah, as you can see, it's running really, really nice. So let's quickly come out of here. Let's go to a different game and then we'll change it to enhanced settings. So let's exit. Let's use, choose something like Diddy Kong, maybe. I know there's a lot of Diddy Kong racing fans out there. Do, 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 do. Let's see. 
let's choose Diddy Kong because I never saved the settings I will have to go over the settings again but for games like Sonic Rush it's really it utilizes both screens it just makes that experience of playing the game instead of constantly swapping it it just makes it really really cool so again let's go to options let's go to video options let's take it down to one in fact let's take it to two and then enhance the graphics to and let's put the second main screen fixed now I don't think this game can run with it with the enhanced graphics, so let's take the enhanced graphics off. You just have to tinker, guys. You just have to tinker. Right, let's take enhanced 3D off and let's take it down to 1. I think the second screen panel also is not needed for this one mm -mm 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 -mm. there we go sadly you have to tinker around guys to make it perfect okay let's go As you can see again, it's just running really nice. I definitely thought this was um, a game you could enhance the graphics. Let's just see if we can do that. Let's go back to enhancing the graphics. Let's go to video options. Let's put on the advanced. Yeah, I thought so. No, struggling. Doesn't really change that much. Maybe it smooths out the pixels, maybe. But it's not so important in games, really. It doesn't really make the experience any better. Let's try it with change options, video options. Let's try with two times frame skip and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, there we go. So that's with enhanced graphics on, but with two times frame skip and it plays amazingly well. So if you do want the edges of the pixels themselves to be a lot smoother then that is what you do they're the options that you need to set personally you don't need it to be honest it's not really that noticeable let's just do another race so as you can see it's definitely a lot sharper but you do need a two times frame skip for it in order to have the enhanced graphics 
but it's something you tinker around with guys and you know play around with just so you can find the best settings that suit each game but there are games that you can have one times frame skip or even no frame skip um, and enhanced graphics and it's it looks beautiful so yeah you have to tinker unfortunately okay let's try one more game and then we'll move on to some Dreamcast let's go with some I know a lot of people want to see The Legends of Zelda so let's check that out let's go with some Phantom Hourglass again I'll go through the settings guys just so you can see just what you need to do to get the best of the performance from it. So as you see, it's glitching out a little bit on the left one. So let's go to video options. Let's go take it down to one. No enhancement and let's see what happens. As you can see, the flickering is now stopped. And if it is, it's very, you know, not so bad. If we go to swapping into the main screen, you see it's not too bad at all. You can flip it round. So let's get into the game. In fact, let's check out what we can do. Change video options. Let's go with two times frame skip with enhanced graphics on. Sadly, I don't think this is as good. This was one that you can't have the enhanced graphics on, sadly. Unless we try one. Let's go to one time frame skip, see if that makes a difference. Nope. So let's go back to options. Let's go back to video. Let's take it down to one frame skip and take enhanced 3D off. There we go, and let's get into the game. Thank God for skip buttons. So as you can see, it plays really well. A few little glitches, but that's to be expected. Same with Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks is really good as well. traveler okay let's move on to something else love to know what you think of the performance so far guys and what do you think of yeah i've seen so many comments i think the most views and the most comments i've ever had on my channel was due to this 
I really wish you guys would watch my other videos <laughs> with such enthusiasm. But um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I was I was so stoked. I was, I was like running around the room because I just had the most views I've ever had before. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go into some... Did I do a Thomas wave in the last video? I think I did. I did Fist of the North Star. So we'll skip that one. Uh, done. Let's go to some Dreamcast. So what was this one? This one's the Capcom Collection, which is pretty cool. Do you know what? Let's let's go with something really, really hard to do. Something that I know pushes the limits, and I think it will be. Dead or Alive. Let's go with Dead or Alive and see how this plays out. We all know it's a really, really notorious, difficult one to emulate. Tiny cuts. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can do anything about this. So let's go to options. I wonder if we can lower the resolution and see whether it'll help with the performance a bit, maybe. Wide screen hack. I really do wish they could just implement some other Oh, some other options. Let's go to... Let's drop the resolution down and see if that helps any. Let's go with 320 by 240. I know it's going to look ugly, but I wonder if it will help. Sadly not. It really is a difficult one to emulate, guys. Such a shame. Okay, let's move on to something else that I know that can run really well. Let's go to options and change back the let's restart the game. Yeah, if you change the, the uh, aspect ratio or the resolution and you get that whole blaring, just restart the game and that should fix it. I say that and it doesn't.
Haha. <laughs> Not restart, you fool. Um. Quit RetroArch. Sorry guys, I'm including all the trials and tribulations of handheld goodness. What I will do guys as well is I'll test out the Bluetooth in another video as well. I'll test out the PS5 controller, Xbox Series X controller, Xbox One controller. I'll just go through all the controllers um, just to see what Bluetooth, because this has got such a big screen. Um, and then obviously if you can get something like this maybe, that you can then like just plonk it on and rest it on. Just let me move the camera. Um, so you could get something like that and then use a controller, especially for like driving games, because you could then use the analog triggers in the driving games, if that makes any sense. I might just leave it on there, actually, that's quite a nice angle. Okay, let's jump into it. Sorry guys, I'm just getting used to the buttons to see which one is the special move. There we go. As you can see, it's running really, really well and it looks fantastic, guys. I'm really, really impressed with it. Okay, let's move on to another game. Let's go with some... Virtual Fighter 3.
but it is definitely playable guys which is good you know and it looks fantastic on the big screen both ring out yeah, it's really really cool so what i'm going to do for the purposes of the video i don't want it to be too long and um, i will do another video i'll do batasera if there's anything else that you want to see running on here guys let me know if you want me to do like a full catalogue of Nintendo DS games, uh, because obviously Batasera doesn't have Nintendo DS, so if you want me to add quite a lot of Nintendo DS games and run through the library, just so you know, and if there's, as I say, if there's any other games that you wish to see on here, let me know. I have got more games on Batasera 30, and the ones that I can test, which people have asked me to test. I'm not going to do PSP on here, actually, because... As I say, Batasera runs better. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know in the comments. Love to know your thoughts. And as always, take care.